Welcome back to our Buffer Top. My name is Adam, and today we're going to be finishing off our preview video for the upcoming 2020 AFL Select Footy Stars series. We are into part two. This is the business end, people. This is where the big, rare money cards are revealed. We've got release dates inside this video. We've got all the big cards to reveal. Let's not waste any time at all, and let's have a look. First things first. Bang! The bang card has arrived. This is our box hit. One in 36 packs. You're gonna get one bang card in each box. You get a bang in a box, I guess. It's fun to say. When this card was revealed, I had to look inside myself. I'm a very positive person. I'm a very, very positive person. I look on the bright side of things. Um, and if you watch any of my videos, you know how excited and how much I love collecting cards and opening packs and all that sort of stuff. However, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by this card and I'll explain to you exactly why. So the whole concept behind this is, you know, they're big. Uh, if you ever watch the, the, the select videos there, every time they get a big hit, they go bang. And like, you know, it's all about, who, you know, the players that make a big bang for your team and all that sort of stuff. But my problem is, is kind of threefold. Number one, these screenshots we have, they don't look very good. Um, so they're supposed to be like a textured, um, star-like thing in the background. You can sort of see it closely on the egg kerno, um, but as she was moving the Guthrie around, I literally didn't see any pattern at all, and there's a limited one on the Parker as she was showing it around. That could just have to do with, like, the camera. It could could be, you know, just the quality of the camera. They weren't using the best quality cameras for it, so um, that could just be to do with that. Uh, number two, bang makes you think about like this big, huge bang moment, kick a goal, massive mark, huge hip and shoulder, something like that that makes it go bang. Then the action shots in the cards aren't exactly bang moments. Um, like Kerno's just looking to sit, get the ball off downfield. Guthrie's looking to get the ball off downfield. And Parker is, I assume, has just done some sort of bang moment and is fist pumping. That's probably the one that's got the most energy on there as far as excitement goes. I'm hoping these look better in hand. So the design doesn't do much for me. Um, like, like kind, it kind of what, kind of what I see is a mirror for the the mirror common from um, press prestige last season with a bang in the background. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of these. Hang on, uh, let's grab Caleb Daniel. Who doesn't love a bit of Caleb Daniel, right? So Caleb Daniel, you can see it's got that sort of mirror background going on, um, which looks cool because I can like the reflection of all my Pokemon boxes are over there, so you can see the colors in there. So that looks really, really cool. But I think they're going for like a star sort of thing, and it just kind of looks like they've written "bang" in the background of like this common card. Um, so let's make a bang card right now, shall we? <laughs> Wait, does that work? Is that how you spell bang? <laughs> I've got my red texture. I've got my mirror background. Bang! Hey, check it out. Rare exclusive Caleb Daniel bang card from the 2021 footy stars set. Unreleased. Bang! Yeah, I, I assume the background's going to be a bit more textured. However, my biggest issue with this card... Actually, it looks pretty cool. I know it's backwards because I've like i got the camera and mirror, but that <laughs> looks pretty cool. But my biggest issue is sort of the fact that it's not an original idea. Anyone who is a basketball lover or NFL lover or soccer or anything like that probably know the Panini series Kaboom. Um, and right here I've written the Bang versus Kaboom. So obviously they've taken the idea that Panini had in the States many, many years ago. I want to say 2016, 17? Basketball fans and like you're probably more knowledgeable about that than me. Um, but you can see right here I've got a copyright Tim Duncan and a Zeon Williamson. And you can see the Kaboom. Like the background really pops. These cards went crazy. They're worth huge amount of money, especially um, graded in high end. Uh, and they look fantastic. Like you can really see on that Kobe, the amount of um, features and, and textures sort of coming through in that background. But unfortunately, what I can see from the bang cards there, it just isn't that interest in the background. So it could just end up being a bit more like a mirror as opposed to that textured thing. However, benefit the doubt, I said I'm a positive person, Benefit of the doubt, I'm gonna to have to see this in hand to actually make a fully to make a full assessment on it. So it could be spectacular, it could fall a little bit short. At the moment, I'm not overly excited about it, but I am excited to see it in hand. And you know, in my first video of opening up a box of opening up my first box, I'm sure we will go through. I'll grab one and I'll give you my full thoughts on that one. All right, let's keep going. <sighs> 
All right, positive, positive. I have to be positive. I have to be positive. Uh, last video, I talked about my opinion on predictors and how I don't like the concept of the card because literally the moment that the result is decided for the Premiership or the Brownlow, all every other card except for Dusty Martin goes in, like drops in value by a couple hundred dollars, right? A good example of it would have been last year uh, was Travis Boak's Brownlow predictor. Like the week before Brownlow, his card was like a couple of hundred bucks, three hundred, four hundred dollars. People were trying to, were trying, people were buying because there was a good chance. Like everyone thought Noki Neal was thing, but he was the outside chance, right? So people were trying to pick that up for cheap, just in case he came through. Then literally the moment that Neil had the winning amount of votes um, in the Brownlow, his card shot down, you know, below a hundred, you know, around that hundred mark. So we've got another predictor. This one is the Coleman predictor. It's one in four hundred and thirty-two packs which I think that's the same as a premiership predictor from memory. And um, yeah, if a player from any of the teams from the team wins the Coleman, you get a special card from, from that. I don't think there's anything else I need to say about this. Predictors don't excite me. Uh, does that mean that we're going to eventually get a Norm Smith predictor and a, uh, a NAB rising star predictor um, and a, Predictor Predictor? What about I get the Predictor Predictor card and the Predictor Predictor card will allow me to try to predict a card they release in the next set. If I guess it, they send it, they send the card to me for free. What do you think? I just realized that I'm still holding the red texter. Don't need that anymore. All right, let's keep going through. Okay, all right. A card that I'm excited about now. However, I'm never going to see it. I know. <laughs> the card replacing the show suffer from last season, the Marquee card now there's only 18 one per team and they're going for a young gun this time a young player from each team they're excited about who could become one day the marquee player for that team i love that idea because there's potential there right imagine like uh we had this card for someone like five for a five early season or an early dusty season or um, I don't know, early Crip season or something like that. These players that people go, oh, these are potentially great players would make it onto cards like this. And then a few years time, that's going to increase in value. Like if you had an early marquee card from like Dustin Martin, now that he is, you know, most well-known player in the AFL, won three premierships, three Norm, Norm Smiths, Brownlow, handful of other awards, is the most recognizable player Outside of the AFL as well, everyone knows the name Dusty, even if you're not into AFL. If you had that, that marquee card would be worth even more. So the fact that there's potential and room to grow for this is actually really exciting. Uh, so they've got, uh, from the Giants, they've got Perryman and Luke Jackson from the Demons. I'm excited to see who, who else is going to be, um, who could be the marquee players for each team. I'm really excited to see them sit down and try to pick that player. So this is a great card. I re I'm really excited about this card. However, one in 864 packs... Probably not seeing one. Just like the mythical showstopper that apparently was in last season. I'm probably not seeing this one either. Uh, so starter pack cards. We uh, always get an alternative star burst in there as well. This year it's going to be a fire burst. Uh, it's $9.99. You get three packs and the fire and the star burst fire of any of the star bursts that are drawn for this season. Pretty standard thing. I love picking up starter packs because you know how much I love my star burst and art cards. So I love getting those ones. I generally, if I see them, I grab them. $9.99, packs are three bucks anyway. You're basically paying for the same amount and you get a cool card with it as well. Pick them up if you can find them. All right, um, and the album. Okay, so I'm gonna just ignore the comp card for a second. You guys know my opinion on comp cards. All right, album, $19.99 as usual, and we will get our best and fairest card, a good looking best and fairest cards this year. You can see Riley O'Brien from the Crows right there, looking fantastic. I love the design of it. It's always actually, I think, one of their classiest designs, the BNFs. And it's a shame because you can't actually pull them outside of the album. So you'll buy the album for $19.99, uh, get all your pages to put in, and of course you get your B a, a random BNF player in there as well, one of the 18. Although Carlton, has Carlton named their best and fairest player yet? Hasn't Carlton not done their best and fairest? <laughs> do, you, do you get like a redemption card in if you get Carlton? It's just like to be redeemed once they know who they are. Anyway, um, and then once again, we have the comp card. Now, this time is not a trip to Disneyland, so I can't call it the Disneyland any, anymore. Um, might call it the cash card because you have a chance to win $10,000 cash. Um, on top of which, of course, chance of winning a couple of boxes and cards and all that sort of stuff. But what annoys me about this card so much 
is the fact that this card takes up a rare slot in the pack. There's nine cards in the pack of footy stars. Seven of them are commons. One of them is going to be a holo, which is very exciting. And the last one is going to be a rare. It's going to be an insert card. And unfortunately, sometimes that insert card's going to be that comp card, which I hate. I absolutely hate. I think they should do comp cards. That's fine. But have a replace a common. Don't take over my rare slot for that. Like if you, I think about a, a kid, right? A kid goes in and goes and asks mum and dad, can I get a pack of footy cards? Please, 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 can I get a pack of footy cards? Mum finally goes, okay, fine. You can get a pack of footy cards, just one. And then you have to wait till next week, your next pack or next month or earn, earn the money, blah, blah, blah. They open it up and what they get inside is a comp card. Now this kid who's getting like one pack a month or one pack every two months or whatever it is, they're not getting the 25 packs or 15 packs or 10 packs or whatever it is to redeem this comp card, let alone are they excited to see a comp card inside that rare slot instead of like a game breaker, an acetate card or, you know, something like that, that takes over, that gets you excited to open the pack. When you open this one, it's just not exciting for anyone. Oh yay open up a comp card and I'm probably going to get nothing from it. Huzzah. This is my opinion. Keep the ratio the same. One every 15 or something like that, which is then on one, but put it in the, put it in a common slot. Let it replace a common. That would be wonderful. Or even let it replace the hollow, but I'd rather get the rare card than the hollow in a pack. I'm just saying. Enough about comp cards. All right, pre-order is this Sunday, the 21st of Feb. Can you believe that? If you're watching this on the day this is released, pre-order for this product it can be available on the select website tomorrow. If you're watching this a day later, it's today. If you're watching it two days later, it was yesterday. If you're watching it three days later, it was two days ago. You know, you understand how maths work, right? And then the release is going to be Monday, March 1st. Now don't freak out and don't panic. This is not prestige, this is not dominance, this is not brilliance or anything like that. This is a big box set. A lot of boxes getting printed. While the demand is still going to be probably higher than most seasons, you're still going to be able to get boxes, you're still going to be able to get packs, you're still going to be able to get starter sets. Don't freak out and just start praying to pre-order 17 cases or anything like that. It will be available. This is probably going to be available all season long. To pick up packs and boxes whenever you wish, just like it always is. So don't freak out. This isn't going to sell out in five seconds. Last page. Now this was the uh, I went on the website and found the um, the actual thing. So these are better quality versions of it. I'm already based on the bank card. You can see the Patty Cripps right there. Already the bank card's looking better, which is exciting, just because I can see the pattern. But again, the bank card's going to come down to when it's in my hand. When it's in this hand, and I compare it to my bank card I've got right here. I will keep this bank card and we will compare it to the first bank card I pull out and we will decide which one looks better. So we've got Alpha Commons, Alpha W Commons. The holographic foils look fantastic. I'm so excited about the holographic foils. That, that right there, that's what I'm most excited about, which is silly, right? I want to collect the whole set of holographic foils. They look beautiful. I love a good swirl. Um, Alpha Milestone Gains look great again. The bank card is, I'm leaving that out there. I think the Starburst Lightning looks really, really good. And what are they? Oh, I didn't see that. So one in 72, yeah, one in 72, and then number to 210. I think I said 250 last time. The Game Breakers look fantastic. Luck Clops, Acetates are interesting as well. Marquee has potential for big, big, big money in the future as well, if you're that way inclined. Best and Ferris always look good. And then, oh, you've got the camos, one in three, blah, 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 blue, 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 blah, blah, blah. Over to you. What do you think of the set? Are you going to be picking up a box, a couple of packs, a starter set, a case, 20 cases, 30 cases? What are you going to be buying of this product? Let me know which card you're most excited about. If you disagree with me on anything, put it in my comments. I love having a chat. If you're sitting there saying, Adam, the bank card is the best card I've ever seen in my entire life, even just based on that terrible video presentation, tell me. I want to be proved wrong. I really want the bank cards to look awesome. I want them to look great. Um, the cards I'm probably most excited about this set for me is uh, I think the holographics look fantastic. I'm glad that they're doing holographics. I didn't like the jigsaw pieces last year. Uh, so the fact that we're getting a holographic each pack is exciting. I think the grain breakers look brilliant and I'm looking forward to trying to collect all the tiger ones of that. Um, and the marquee has a lot of potential in there. And of course, I love my starburst and character cards. So that's what I'm most excited about for this set. But... 
over to you guys. I've got plenty more footy action as we ramp up in the season. We've still got Team Coach to preview when that starts to come out. We've still got packs to open, things to collect, footy season. We're going to be doing footy tipping and all sorts of fun stuff this season. So please make sure you're hitting that sub button. Please make sure you're hitting that bell icon to know when videos coming out so you can come, with, come along with me on my YouTube journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're staying safe, staying healthy, being amazing. And as always, I will see you in the next one.